coming to you from the Exuma Sound. Look how beautiful today is. How many feet? 5.6. 5.6, okay. 4.9. 4.8. Cindy, and this is Shell. We sold everything and set off on an adventure, living and cruising on a boat named Seashell. Click subscribe and sit back as we show you that it's possible for all of us to live an extraordinary life. In the last episode, we find ourselves in an Exuma anchorage surrounded by sandbars, beaches, and billionaires. After a short stay in Staniel Key for some provisioning and waiting out a westerly blow, we head out onto the Exuma Sound to head south to another new anchorage. Good glorious afternoon. Coming to you from the Exuma Sound. Look how beautiful today is. We've had a goal for this trip to try a bunch of new anchorages or try anchorages that we've never been to before. We've been successful so far, except for trying to duck out of winds and stuff. We've taken some common anchorages. But today we're headed to a place called Prime Key Adventure. We've never been to it. It's just below Darby Island or below Rudder Cut, just above Lee Stocking. So we're going to try to cut in through there and take an anchorage in there. They say it could be like 360 degree uh, wave protection, no current, fit about four or five boats. There's two boats in there, and three boats in there, and one of them is our friends, Shannon and Paula on timeout, who left earlier today. We didn't join them because I had to work and had meetings and stuff. But they spent the, the afternoon cruising down here, caught two mahis. Caught two mahis, Cindy. That's amazing. So I didn't even get a chance to wet a line today. And uh, it's too late now. We're trying to get in the cut there while it's high tide slack water and then pull in high tide over the bank because you got to wait for high tide to get over into the hole that's there. So anyway, let's continue on and uh, see what this anchorage is like. want to give a huge thanks to our patrons who help keep these videos coming. And if you want to be part of the crew, join over on patreon.com slash searching for seashells. Key Adventure is accessed from the Exuma Sound from the most southerly cut of the anchorage. Wait for close to slack water as the current rips through this cut otherwise. Also make sure you don't have wind against current or you'll have a sporty entry into the channel. The two large rocks between Prime Key and Lignum Vitae Key are on your starboard side as you enter. You won't find any deep draft vessels in here. The entrance is very shallow with about three feet at low tide, so you must access this anchorage at high tide. How many feet? 5.6. 5.6. Okay. 4.9. 4.8. 4.8? 4 
Once over the shallow bar, there is a max of five to six feet of water at low tide, and you'll have to be careful to find those deeper spots within the anchorage. The anchorage is very comfortable with land protection from the north to the southeast, then very shallow bank protection from the south to the northwest. Though you might get westerly winds through here, you won't have much wave action. And with the good holding in shallow water, I can't imagine you having much trouble in winds from any direction. There is no current in here, so your bow will always be pointed into the wind. We drop the hook and back down on it to make sure it's well set. We settle away for the evening and prepare to get together with Time Out for a celebration of Paul's birthday with their special barbecue pizza. This morning we're off to our most southerly destination of the season. We are taking the Exuma Sound route to Lee Stocking. However, if you don't mind a little pucker factor in your cruising, there is a shallow draft route if the sound is a little rough. The shallow route will take you past the Pimlico Keys on the Exuma Bank, where you will need to wait for high tide to pass. We have done it three times now and have had no troubles with the route, but we draw three and a half feet. We enter off the sound in the channel south of the beacon on Adderley Key and make our way into our usual anchorage in Williams Bay. head out now to the tug and bar out that way to do a little snorkel. We're back at the tug and the barge.
there is good reason why Lee Stocking remains one of our favorite anchorages. And it's because if you like fishing, spearfishing, or just like taking in the underwater sights, there are plenty of locations a short haul from the anchorage. The Tug and Barge is a fantastic spot, but it is popular. And from a fishing perspective, can be picked over. So if you're trying to catch dinner, there are a few other places around the immediate area where you can have a better chance of catching snapper, lobster, lionfish, and grouper. Between the fishing, you can even stop off at Leaf Key to visit the iguanas. If you become a patron, you can get access to our full list of underwater adventures in the Bahamas. So what Sheldon got today was two mutton snappers, two mutton snappers, and one grouper. Yeah, he's pleased with that. We are going to go into Bear Terra, which we've never been, um, to look for a quick lunch, a bite to eat. So um, we've been waiting on some weather, which I think we think is good now. So it's about a 15 minute. Fear aside, we know. 
at the Baratera, and we went to what? This is Terry. Oh, we had a great lunch at the Baratari, and we went to the same old place. Same old place. Yes, and we had a great time there. Everybody was very nice to us. Yeah, good and delicious. I had a fried pan fried snapper, really good. Yep, pan fried snapper, good. Everything was great, and we had a great time. Boise Key today. Temperature fantastic. We're here to find a blowhole. It is absolutely beautiful. Woohoo! That's the blowhole. Wow, they're everywhere. The Lee Stocking Island area with its underwater marvels and hiking trails that beckon you to elevated vantage points with awe-inspiring vistas consistently solidifies its status as one of the most cherished anchorages within the Exuma Archipelago. A true haven for any cruising boater. Stop you and me Cause it's 
get all your heart and soul. They'll be gone before you know. Every time we reluctantly depart this enchanting locale, it leaves us with a sense that we've barely scratched the surface of its abundant treasures. Unexplored beaches beg for our footsteps and undiscovered reefs call out for our exploration. It's as if this alluring paradise teases us with hidden gems, assuring us that they will remain secrets waiting to be unveiled during our next visit.